ओके गाइज आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस फोर फिफ्टी सिक्स प्रॉब्लम सो द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट डिटर्मिन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द मोमेंट्स ऑफ द फोर्स एफ अबाउट द एक्स वाई एंड जेड एक्सिस सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग ए कार्टीजन वैक्टर अप्रोच एंड यूजिंग ए स्केल स्केलर अप्रोच सो वी आर गिवन दिस फोर्स एफ एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द मोमेंट ऑफ दिस फोर्स एफ about the x y and z axis is so first of all we are given this force f as a cartesian vector and it has 4i plus 12j minus 3k so to find the moment of a given force about any axis first of all we have to find the moment of this force about the about a point on that particular axis is so point a is lying on the x axis so first of all we have to find the moment of this force f about that point a so to find the moment of this force f about point a we can uh we can find that moment by taking the cross product of the moment arm from a to b we can take a a position vector from a to b and we can take the pro cross product of this moment arm so we can write that this will be r a b cross f and then once we find the moment this will give us the moment of the force f about that point a and once we find this moment then we will take the dot product with the with the unit vector of that particular axis or line about which we want to find the moment of this force f so now since we want to find the moment about the x axis is and the unit vector along the x axis is always the i unit vector so in order to find the moment of this force f about the x axis we have to take the dot product of this force f with the unit vector of the x axis which is i uh, which is i unit vector so now uh, again we have to find we have to find the the position vector from a to b so the position vector from a to b we can find it very really easily so uh, as i have told you people that the position vector from a to b we can always find that by traveling from a along the x y and z axis to reach that point b so from a we need to travel uh, four feet in the x so we will write that this is four feet along the positive i and then three feet in the positive j so i will write plus 3j and then we have to travel uh, two feet in the negative z so i will write minus 2k that is in the negative k so this is the position vector from a to b so now to find this dot part which is known as the the scalar triple product we can find it by finding the determinant so and remember that since this is the dot part of a vector this is a vector uh, and the dot part of a vector with a with another unit vector will always give us the magnitude so this will give us the magnitude of the moment of this force f about the x axis is so now this magnitude will be this magnitude mx this can be determined by taking the determinant of so in the first row we have to write the components of the position vector from a to b so the components of the position vector from a to b is plus 4 is we have here we have plus 4 plus 3j and minus 2 and then we have to write the component of force f so the component of force f is plus 4 this is plus 12 and then minus 3 and then the unit vector so the unit vector uh, actually we can write this is uh, uh, 1i that will be 1i 1i plus 0j plus 0k so we can write its components here that is 1i 0j plus uh, and then 0k so now we have to find the determinant we can find the determinant by by take by considering this so this will be minus 1 we can find the determinant by by taking minus 1 and then this one is in the third row uh, this is in the third row and third column so we have to write 3 plus 3 so the third row and first column this is third row and this is in the this one is in the third row and first column and then we have to take the determinant of these 
so the determinant of these will be we can write this as 3 into minus 3 so that is minus 9 and then minus and then minus into minus 2 into 12 so this gives us this minus 1 to the power 4 this will give us plus 1 and then this is minus 9 and this is minus into minus plus plus and 2 into 12 is 24 so this is plus 24 so 24 minus 9 is 15 so this is 15 and since the force is given in pounds so this is 15 pound feet the distances are given in feet so this is the magnitude of the moment of this force f about the x-axis which is 15 pound feet similarly to find the moment of uh, this force f about the about the y-axis so we can edit this right so for uh, to find the moment of this force f about the y-axis we have to take the dot product with the with the unit vector of the of the y-axis which is j right so we have to write that this is now the dot product with the j unit vector so now the j unit vector is 0 i plus 1 j and plus 0 k so now we can write it here so this is so this will become uh, 0 i and 1 j so now we can find uh, the determinant again so now this will be the uh, moment about the y-axis and similarly we can edit that this is the moment about the y-axis so the moment about the y-axis again we can determine determine this uh, determined by using uh this element of the matrix so we will hide this and this and now this is minus one and this is uh in the third row and second column so this is three plus two to the power three plus two and then the determinant of these so this is four into minus three this four into minus three so that is four into minus three minus this minus two into four so that is minus two into four so this is minus 1 to the power 5 is minus 1 and this is minus 12 and this is minus into minus plus and this is 8. So this gives us minus 1 and minus 12 plus 8 is minus 4 which gives us 4 pound feet. So let me write the results here. The moment about the x-axis is magnitude was 15 pound feet. And now the moment about the y-axis magnitude is 4 pound feet. And similarly, we can find the same moment uh, about the z-axis. So we can again, we can edit this uh, this formula, right? So here we have to write, now we have to write that this is the moment about the z-axis. And for z-axis, we have to take the dot product with the unit vector along the z-axis, which is uh, 0 i plus 0j plus 1k now we have to we have to iterate this uh, matrix this determinant matrix so this is now uh, 0j and 1k and again we can we can find the determinant now using the this uh, this element which is in third row and third column so this is 1 minus 1 to the power 3 plus 3 and then the determinant of these right so we have to take the determinant of these which is 4 into 12 is 48 minus 4 into 3 is 12 so this is minus 1 to the power 6 will become will give us plus 1 and 48 minus 12 is 36 so this gives us 36 pound feet so this is the, the magnitude of the moment of this force f about the z axis which is equal to 36 pound feet now in the second part this was the solution of part a so in the second part it is said that find the moment about the x y and z axis is using the scalar approach now for scalar approach is we know that we are given the components of this force f which is 4 i plus 12 j so we can show the components of this force f along the x-axis so this is the component of force f along the x-axis which has a magnitude of 4 then this force f has a magnitude uh, as a component along the 
y axis is let's say this is the component which has a magnitude of 12 and similarly it has a component along the z axis which is acting in the downward direction since it is given that this is minus 3 so now the magnitude this is this is f of x this one is f of y and this one is f of z so now the moment about the x axis is we can determine the moment magnitude about the x axis by by doing the scalar analysis now remember that uh, whichever component is parallel to the x axis is that is not going to produce the moment about the x axis is so this f of x component is parallel to the x axis so it is not going to produce the moment about the x axis so only the y component and the z component they are going to produce the moment about the x axis is so now if we observe the f of f of y and f of z force from this direction so this f of y can rotate this whole system about the x axis is in this direction so if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the a positive action direction so this means that the, the f of y is going to produce the counterclockwise moment so we can write that uh, this f of y which has a magnitude of 12 it is going to produce the uh, counterclockwise moment and the perpendicular distance of this f of y from that x axis is, is this two feet this is the perpendicular distance so we have to multiply it with two similarly this uh, z uh, z component is also producing the moment about the x axis is and this is going to produce the moment about the uh, x axis in this direction and this will rotate this whole system about the x axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb is going to point out in the negative x direction so it is going to produce the clockwise moment so we will write that this is minus and the magnitude of f of z is 3 and the perpendicular distance of this f of z from that x axis is this 3 feet right this is the perpendicular distance so we have to multiply it with 3 now this is 12 into 2 is 24 and minus 9 so this gives us 15 pound feet which we have already determined right so here we have determined by using the cross product method that the moment uh, about the x-axis is produced by this force f is 15 pound feet so we got that same result from doing the scalar approach now similarly we can find the magnitude of the moment about the y-axis again by considering the scalar approach so for scalar approach again uh, that particular component which is parallel to the y-axis is not going to produce the moment about the y-axis so this uh, f of y is parallel to the y-axis it's not going to produce the moment about the y-axis so the remaining two components are producing the moment about the y-axis so if we look into this f of x force from this direction so it is going to produce the moment about the y-axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb is going to point out in the negative j direction that is in the negative y so f of x is producing the clockwise moment so we will write minus the magnitude of f of x is 4 and the perpendicular distance of f of x from y axis is this 2 feet right this is the perpendicular distance so we have to multiply it with 2 and the f of z is going to produce the moment about the uh, y axis is in this direction it is going to produce the moment about the y-axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers uh, along this direction so the thumb is going to point out in the positive y direction so it is going to produce the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus and the comp the magnitude of f of z is 3 and the perpendicular distance of f of z from that uh, y-axis is, is this 4 feet right this is the perpendicular distance so we have to multiply it with 4 so this is minus 8 plus 12 and this gives us 4 pound feet and here we have already determined that the magnitude of the moment about the y-axis is 4 pound feet. Similarly we can find the moment about the z-axis using the same method. Now uh, the f of z component is parallel to the z-axis so it is not going to produce the moment about the z-axis so the remaining two are going to produce the moment about the z axis this is not going to produce the moment about the z axis now the uh, if the f of x component is going to rotate the whole system about the z axis in this direction like this and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb is going to point out in the negative z direction so this means that f of x f of x is producing the 
uh, clockwise moment so we will write minus f of x magnitude is 4 and the perpendicular distance of this f of x from that uh, z-axis is this 3 feet distance right this is the perpendicular distance of this f of x component from that z-axis so we have to multiply it with 3 and similarly uh, this f of y is going to rotate uh, this whole system about the z-axis is in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive z direction so this means that the f of y is going to produce the counterclockwise moment about the z axis so we will write plus 12 and the perpendicular distance of this f of y from that z axis is, is this distance which is 4 feet so we have to multiply it with 4 so now this gives us minus 12 plus 48 which gives us plus 36 pound feet so this is how we can find the moment by using the Cartesian vector approach and using the scalar approach. So I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning.